today's video. So today we will be talking about uh, equipment that you might need for your formulations at home, in your kitchen, in your workshop, or anywhere you decide to formulate from. So we, like I said previously, that you don't need so much equipment to get started because you are not making for commercial purpose as in making for public to sell. So you only need minor things like when I started. So I will be showing you some few equipments that I used when I started compared to like now. Although I won't be showing you the equipments I'm using for now, I will only show you the equipments you need for uh, starting your formulations. Okay, so uh, without wasting much of your time, let's go in and then I introduce you to different equipments that you might need. Okay, here I have a bunch of things in front of me. Okay, but they are not that costly stuff. They are just like very, very cheap equipments that you can find in your local supermarkets or spaza shops around your places. Okay, so firstly, I will go in. You will need a book or if you are typing your formulations out, you will need A4 paper that you will print them on. But like me, I write all my formulations in the book since I'm not training anyone online yet. Okay, so I write all my formulations in the book. So you will need a book, okay, or a smaller exercise book. Uh, you will need a hand mesa, electric mesa, uh, for things like when you want to make uh, maybe body butter uh, that is oil based, or you want to make a hair butter that, that is oil based. Okay, you will need this, but not often. But if you are making those type of things, you will definitely need it. You will need the napkins to wipe your surfaces all the time okay you will need a face mask if you are just starting things might splash and all those things so you want to cover up your mouth and nose okay or if you are the type that talks a lot like me you will need set of bowls okay you will need the small one the medium size and the bigger size as this one so and you will also need more with this type of plastic when you are doing your xanthan game slurry in a in a glycerin. You can get more of this and ignore this, but you get some and some. So uh you will need this type of bowls or beakers, glass beakers. Uh when you are buying your bowls, make sure they are heat resistant because some bowls are not heat resistant if you go for glass bowls like this one. Because immediately you put them in your double boiler method, uh, they can break easily. Okay, so you want to go for glass bowls that are heat resistant. Automatically, beakers are heat resistant, so you can go for that one as well. But I use glass bowls because beakers, where I stayed, they kind of expensive when I started. And you will need a scale. Don't mind mine is old already. Uh, there are two different types of scale you might want to buy. Okay, the kitchen scale, you will need it. And this one, this is the most compulsory one. The kitchen scale, you can get it at a later stage when you are making maybe 500 gram bash, one, uh, one liter bash, you can go for this one. But in the beginning, you will need this type of scale that weigh is 0 0.01 gram okay 0 0.01 gram okay you need this type of scale because there are some things that you need to uh, measure just small amount of stuff like for example your fragrance you might need is 0 0.5 this type of scale cannot measure 0 0.5 scale and uh, gram your xanthan give you might need is 0 0.4 in some solutions in some formulations so this one cannot measure it so you will need to get yourself a scale that measures 0 0.01 gram you will need spatulas 
uh, there, uh, you can buy the bigger type of spatulas, okay? I kind of like this one because I can use them for anything. That's why I go for these smaller ones. So you can buy those ones that are as wide as this type, okay? Or you can go for these tiny ones like mine. Any one, but you will definitely need spatulas like these ones, the stick spatulas that are disposable. You will need them. Okay. Um. Let's talk about packaging later. You will need things. You will need an an emulsifier, a uh, blender. Okay. Um. When you are starting, don't go for the expensive type of emulsifier. Unless you see that, okay, uh, this is a hobby I want to take to a higher level or a skill I want to, with time, progress to it, then you can decide to go and buy emulsifier. They are emulsifier, um, uh, emulsion blenders or emulsion uh, mixer that are more advanced, okay, than electric blenders like this one. That, are, that will give you more quality result. But if you want to start on a low budget, like when when I started, uh, you will need to go for electric blender like this one, okay? For you to be able to make things like uh, body cream, body lotion, hair conditioner, you will need it, okay? To emulsify your oil and water together. Uh, next on the list that you will need, you will need uh, a pH meter or a pH strip. Any one you decide to buy is okay. Okay, you will need any of them. You will need a pipette. Okay, you will need to measure some things like fragrances, uh, preservative. You can use your pipette to take them, uh, measure them out. You will need a spatula. It's very compulsory. You will need fit in case, for example, uh, maybe you are using herbs that you've infused in water. You will need fitters to filter them, the water from the uh, shaft, and then before you use it. You will need some spoons that you can use to scoop your ingredients like bottles. You will need spoon. Okay, so here you will need name tag. Okay, when you finish your products, you want to pour it inside the container. You will need your name tag, different types. It doesn't have to look like mine. And then you need scissor and pen along with it to write. Okay, to cut your name tag. If it's as big as mine, then you, you don't want to waste your papers. So you just cut the size you want. But if you find the smaller name tags, then you don't need scissors. Okay. You will need a temperature gun. Okay. Why do you need temperature gun? Because there are some ingredients, especially the ingredients on your say, uh, face C and face D. These ingredients, they need to go into your product or formulation uh, at, te at temperatures below 40 degrees. So for you to know that your temperature are, has already reached 40 or below, you need the temperature gun to test it, okay? And another type of temperature, uh, this thing you can use the thermometer, uh, the cylinder format. You can also use that one if you can. If this one is quite expensive for you, you can use that one. You will need hand gloves. Okay, different kind of hand gloves are okay. Okay, the plastic form or the latex form. You can decide to shoot, use any one of them. And your pipette can come in different sizes. Okay. And then finally, on our list of what you need before you start formulating uh, your equipment, um, you will need packagings different types of packagings. For example, I use this for body lotion. I use this for body cream, body butter, body scrub, but in different colors, I use them, okay? And then 
these are other types of packaging like your lip balm and then this ones for example i use mostly for my shampoos and uh, all those kind of things my body oil all those type of things so these are the uh, packaging type i use so you need packaging they can be in different form in different shape it's up to you so these are the few equipments you will need to start formulating and before i go another thing you will need a hot plate or a stove uh in your kitchen or wherever you decide to formulate from you will need a hot stove you will need a pot okay because we are using glasses glass beaker or glass plates so you will need a pot or two pots for a double boiler method what is double boiler method double boiler method is simply you putting water in the pot and then your product is in the plate and you put the product in the pot that already have the boiled water in it and then with time your product in this plate will melt up to the uh, level you want before you take it out and use so that's a double boiler method so i'm not showing the stove and the pot here or the hot plate but you will need them as well you can go for one single hot plate or two hot plates and you can as well use your stove at home it's okay you don't need to buy new ones again but if you want everything separate from your household stuff then you can buy a new stove and a new pot for that so these are the equipment you need to get started you see they are not expensive as we always think that they are so they are not expensive they are cheap stuff we can get in our local supermarket and use them so thank you for watching uh please subscribe uh like share and comment so that i will know what you guys think or i need to upgrade anything so let me know and thank you also thank you so these are the equipment you need for in order for you to start formulating at home you do not need excessive equipment or expensive ones you can keep everything so simple and easy for you without spending so much the other area that might require money from you is your equipment uh, your ingredients that will require some money from you because that we have no control over because we have to buy them from our suppliers and it's their charges we have to pay so those are the things and if you are buying your equip and uh, your ingredients when you are buying your ingredients you can decide to buy your ingredients after you've watched about three to four videos and then you decide to buy ingredients at one time so that the shipping cost will be less so uh in my opinion that's what i think so that you don't have to pay for the ingredients shipping every single time you watch a video and all those things you can decide to watch about three to four videos first before and then decide on what type of ingredients i want in these four videos or i need in these four videos and then you go ahead you buy them you pay for the same amount of shipping for all of them so that's it thank you so much guys thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and share to your loved ones friends and many more thank you bye